Hey guys, life doesn't get much better than tuna, pasta, and 30 minute meals. And that's why I decided to make up this tuna puttanesca. It is so good, so easy to make. You're gonna love it. Let me show you how to do this. Okay guys, I'm gonna kick things off here with a pot of boiling water. And I'm gonna add some olive oil to this. And a little bit of salt just to make it like the Mediterranean. Then I'm going to add in, oh, about 200, 200 grams or so of spaghetti. And I'm just going to boil this till the point where it's al dente, and this can take all about 10 And you can use the pasta of your choice, I should mention, you know, angel hair, uh, linguine, whatever you like. And while the pasta is cooking, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're heading towards that million, and we want to get there. And don't forget to hit that bell button, that notification button. And if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. That all really helps us out. And when you're over at the site, subscribe to our newsletter and become a member over there. All kinds of cool features. After about 10 minutes here, we're nicely al dente. So I'm just going to go ahead and drain this and set it aside. Now to make our yummy puttanesca sauce, which I guess I'll mean sauce, I'm going to add four or five tablespoons of olive oil to a pan over medium high heat. Now I'm going to add in four cloves of sliced garlic. And we'll just stir these up for about a minute just until that wonderful smell of garlic fills the air. Next up, I'm going to add in half a cup of olives, and these are green and black olives. Two tablespoons of capers. One teaspoon of hot pepper flakes, just to give it that heat. And a handful of fresh parsley, right out of the garden. Well, not really, but it could be. And we'll just give this a stir. Now I'm going to add in about 240 grams of tuna in oil, and this is in olive oil. And guys, try and get a fairly good quality tuna. Give this a stir and kind of break it down for about one minute. And some people might say it's not tuna nesca without anchovies. I know, I know, but you know, I don't like them. I can't stand the smell of them or the look of them. So I'm going to leave them out, but you can certainly add them in. And then I'm going to add in half a can of diced tomatoes. And these are Italian diced, and this is a large can. And season this up with some pepper. I'm not going to use salt because the capers and olives are salty enough. But, you know, if you want a lot of salt, by all means, add it. Then I'm just going to stir this and bring it to a boil. Mmm, this looks and smells so good guys once we got a boil happening here i'm going to reduce the heat to i guess medium low and simmer this for about eight minutes Alrighty then after about eight minutes i'm going to add the pasta back in of my trusty utensils here and give this a toss until everything is covered and it's beautifully combined After about two or three minutes, our pasta is heated through and we're well combined. And there you have it, guys, our simple, easy, and delicious tuna puttanesca, simply divine. And I'll just go ahead and garnish this up with a bit more parsley. My all-time favorite is the ultimate taste test. So let's just grab some of this up. Mm -mm. Oh, just look at this. Doesn't this look incredible? Wowzers. Okay, down the hatch we go. Mm. Mm, guys, this is so good. It's got that, that element of saltiness to it, plus the tuna. 
mm, I just love it. And it's got a freshness to it because of the parsley and stuff. It is fantastic. You've just got to try this. And of course, for this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, that wonderful new site. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and become a member over there. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. I decided to make up this pasta tuna puttanetta. Puttanesca, right? Hey guys, their life doesn't get much better than 30 minute meals, pasta and tuna. And that's why I decided to make up this 30 minute tuna put putinesca. <clears throat>